Hi guys, welcome back to the JSG channel. Today we're going to be going through the Iskra MT174 direct connected version and how to read the, the display on the meter. A quick note is the um, display that's going to be shown on the meter is due to the way that we've programmed it. So each distributor may program the meter differently, which is one thing to note, and therefore the display will be different um, and show different parameters. So the Iskra MT174 is one of our best selling meters and we get this request quite often, which is why we've decided to make this video. Um, as I mentioned, the parameters will be to how we program it, unless specified otherwise before dispatch. And um, another note to make is that there are a lot of parameters available on this meter, but it will take too long for us to sit there and speak through each one and explain it. So if you do want more information on what parameters are available, get in touch at sales at jsgsolution.co.uk. So that's our email address, sales at jsgsolutions.co.uk. And we'll send you the user manual and data sheet for the meter, which will have the list of all the parameters on there for you to see. So we're gonna show you how to read the MT174DC, Iskra MT174DC. Um, and firstly, we don't even need this open, we can use this blue button. We're gonna to navigate to standard data by pressing the blue button twice on this occasion and then pressing the holding. And then this is where we go into the settings. Now it's important to know that these meters can be set very differently by all different distributors. So this is the way that we set the meter in particular. 1.8.0 equals all phases total energy imports. This is your basically your total kilowatt hours. And then 1.8.1, so that's for tariff one, tariff two, tariff three, and tariff four. And then we've got 2.8.0, which is your export total energy. And then again, tariff one, tariff two, tariff three, tariff four. 1.6.0, which is all phases max demand. We haven't got a demand, we haven't got this meter properly wired up, so that's why it's just blank at the moment. 2.6.0, so that's your export max demand. 1.2.0, so that's all phases accumulative demand total in kilowatts. 1.7.0, which is all phases instant value total import in kilowatts. So this is not your kilowatt hours, this is your kilowatt reading. So um, how many kilowatts is actually running through the meter at this point in time? Obviously, as I said, we've just got ours powered up on the import side of things, so a live and a neutral, which is why it's zero for the time being. And then 21.7.0, so that's for L1. 41.7.0 is L2. And 61.7.0 is L3. And then we've got 2.7.0, which is your export kilowatts L1 L2 and L3 and then we've got your current all phases so this is your current amps that's flying through the meter across all phases and then we've got L1 L2 and L3 current then we've got the voltage so as you can see, the current, the total voltage at the moment for us is 245 volts bounce around because we've got one of the phases wired up there with the live and neutral just to power the meter up. So this is the total volts. And then you've got volts on L1, which is what we've got wired up, L2 and L3. Then we've got C.7.0. This is the power down counter, so how many times the meter's been turned on and off. We've been using this one for testing, so this, it's been turned on and off 14 times. Um, and then we've got 0 0.9.1, which is the time. 0 0.9.2, which is the date. 0 0.2.0, which is the firmware version. C.1.0, which is the manufacturer number. C.87.0, which is the active tariff. So currently you can see uh, it's here. So it's on tariff one at the moment. So yeah, as, as we said at the start of the video, this meter can be set to a maximum of four tariffs. So depending on what time of day it is, um, it will show you what tariff is currently in use. 
and then we've got f.0.0 which is fatal error state this will just tell you um, if there's an error on the meter or any kind of fault display test showing you all the um, possible displays on the meter and then end of sequence thanks for watching the video guys please like leave a comment of any questions that you may have or any future videos that you want us to do and subscribe stay tuned to the channel for more videos like this thank you